And yes, we also had this weekend the Royal Rumble. What a segue to the Royal Rumble. <laughs> but it was the Royal Rumble. <laughs> we got to talk about it. And you know what? There was good stuff at it the was. Royal Rumble, including an awesome post-main event angle. And there was stuff that, you know what, wasn't awesome at all. So quickly, if you did not see the show, I thought that the Men's Royal Rumble was actually a, a pretty great match. It was not the greatest Royal Rumble I've ever seen, but, I mean, the first half was one of the greatest first halves of a Royal Rumble I've ever seen. And Cody, of course, came out at number 30, and he won, last eliminating Gunther, who had come out at number one. Gunther, who about 59 minutes into the match, the announcers go, my God, it's been 59 minutes. He must be exhausted. But he looked at him, and he wasn't exhausted at all. He looked like he wasn't even sweating. So Cody won, and they made it clear on the pre-show that Sami Zayn was not going to be in the Royal Rumble. So nobody turned on Cody. He was cheered coming out. He was cheered against Gunther. He was cheered when he won. So, so far, so good. Then we had Bray White, L.A. Knight in the Mountain Dew pitch black match. It sucked. Absolutely, positively sucked. But afterwards, when Uncle Howdy jumped off some gimmick and missed L.A. Knight by five miles, and they still blew off a bunch of fireworks, and there were puppets dancing around, I laughed, laughed, laughed. I don't know if I was supposed to laugh. My guess is I wasn't. But boy, did I laugh. Then we had Bianca beating Alexa which was seven minutes. There was nothing to it. It was just a match. Bianca beat her clean in the middle with her move. And then, if you hadn't had enough Uncle Howdy, we got a spooky Uncle Howdy video on the screen, and Alexa was all distraught. Then we had the Women's Royal Rumble, which really was not a very good Royal Rumble. But the last couple minutes when it came down to Liv Morgan, Rhea Ripley, who were number one and two, although in storyline they gave Liv Morgan number two just to be, you know, jerks because she wanted number one, even though that's exactly the same as number two. Rhea, Liv Morgan, and the returning Asuka, who was absolutely the star of the women's Royal Rumble and was better than the majority of the men in the men's Rumble. She was out of this world. It came down to those three. It was great. Rhea ended up eliminating uh, Liv Morgan to win. She's going on to the main event of WrestleMania. And then, of course, the main event was Roman Reigns and Kevin Owens, and they did do a ref bump and a visual pin for Kevin Owens. But, of course, in the end, Roman Reigns speared him and pinned him. And then, of course, the big storyline at the end was that they handcuffed old Kevin Owens to the ropes and Roman Reigns was going to do him in with a chair. But Sami Zayn said, no, 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 you, you've done enough. This is beneath you as the WWE Undisputed Universal Champion. And so Roman says, all right, maybe you're right. So why don't you do it? And Sami had to make the big decision. And the big decision was the big decision Seth Rollins made a decade ago. He swung that chair he walloped Roman Reigns. These fans screamed so loud they peaked the mics in the building. It was all distorted. And, of course, the bloodline all turns on Sami Zayn afterwards. All of them, except for Jay Uso, who just couldn't do it. And he hung his head, and he walked away to a big pop. And now we have to see how they all tie this room together, so to speak, leading to Montreal and WrestleMania. And as a cheap plug, if you go to my Twitter right now, at Brian Alvarez, my newest article for Sports Illustrated is up right now. You hear that? Sports Illustrated. With a look at what they did, where they could go, a couple of different ideas, and why they got to kind of, they got to figure out what they're going to do here. Brother? Yeah. Still waiting on my sneaker phone. I thought we were supposed to get something from Sports Illustrated. No, I got tons. Edition, of, well, you never got anything? No. Not too bad. Oh, man. Yours is gold, too, isn't it? I'm not into the gold. 
anymore. More diamond encrusted. I've never now. really been into gold, to be honest. But everything bezeled in the middle of in the middle of one rant in one moment of my one lifetime. I happen to mention a boat made out of gold, and mm. the rest is history. But it is whatever. It is as is ro- the Royal Rumble, and I'm kind of happy about that. I you know I'll talk about it a little bit more after the break, but the men's and women's rumbles. I mean, they were average at best. They really were, and. I think the rest of the show comes down to was the great stuff with Roman and Sammy and Kevin and the bloodline at the end enough to make up for the fact that the spooky in the middle was just so unbelievably ridiculous or sublime, I guess it turned into for you, but I know it really annoyed a lot of folks as well. I don't know what to tell you guys about that uh, men's Royal Rumble. I mean, you know our our, some good in it. our memories good. our memories are weird, but uh, I've refreshed my memory on the Royal Rumbles. I went back like two years ago and watched every single one of them, and the idea that this men's rumble was like not a very good rumble, I don't know what to tell you, Kai. I just don't know what to tell you. This was a very very good men's rumble. Solid. Here is some actual commentary from Bash and Burger. I love barbecue. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> During this match, uh, I believe uh, Bastion was uh, choking on his chicken wings. Bastion said, uh, Vince, you haven't lived up to your contract. I uh, require four or five pizzas delivered in a wheelbarrow. It was at this point that Bastion Burger demanded hot dogs. <laughs> were they delivered it? in a wheelbarrow, too? Yeah. That's a big hot dog. We're told Razor and Zanetti have called. It's a big wiener. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Brian. Big juicy wiener. Yes, in between two buns. <laughs> oh, you broke Vinny. <laughs> if you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.